when you see as you have seen these beings, when you have a direct experience of filming a spaceship, as may have happened in uh, April of last year during Good Friday and Holy Saturday, I will ask you, at the level of emotion and feeling, what do they communicate? Look, Everyone in this research must certainly base themselves on the objective data that belong to the people outside. But I think that, above all, one must base themselves on their personal experience. I, up to, to today, I could not do other than notice that these beings have helped me, addressed me in all my events, even more intimate, personal. What I have felt on all the various occasions through which I have, let's say, the honor and pleasure of being able to see them with my own eyes, but also to feel them when they have allowed me to do so, is indescribable. What I have certainly felt is a, a great love, sometimes a love so strong that I swear my, my body can't support it, and in fact it often causes a tachycardia. It's, a, it's an indescribable energy that I honestly haven't been able to see represented by my fellow human beings in this world except through those two or three characters that I love more than my life. So, this strong love that I feel and have felt in being able to see them together with this, let's say, feeling desire for justice that I have always had inside, but that, thanks to them, I have been able to feel better and better but above all, to put into action, thanks to all the social works that we carry out today. Alviano, you know it well, through all our groups and associations. I have seen directly, through my experience, that this is a message of justice and love. So whoever can tell me Otherwise, from this, I can certainly, let's say, duel on my experience, and then everyone, as all in, in all things, must make their own evaluation, must make their own research. So I can certainly invite anyone who wants to have this kind of experience to seek them out, to want them, to desire them. Then they arrive, because they have technologies that go beyond our consciousness. In addition to having these super technological objects, they have so much more. They are even able to read our thoughts simply by sitting in an armchair in our hearts to assess our degree of psychophysical, spiritual, intellectual evolution. And therefore, they can also listen to what we may desire. Because, as we well know, in the end we are made of energy and we are also radio transmitters that send information through our minds into the ether, which propagate in the universe and then return. The so-called miracles that we know so much about in the end are nothing more than the requests that we make in our hearts, which then come back to us through these super-technological interventions. The miracle does not exist, it's all the result of how technology that it's even able to. There are many episodes where they have managed to heal people through the use of light or many other technologies. So what you feel when you see them is a very strong love. What I have done, Alviano, was not dual on what I could feel, but listen to what I felt, research, and then put into practice what I felt. What I felt they communicated to me 
when I saw them, while I was observing them, was the invitation to collaborate with them, to fight for peace, for justice, in a world in disarray, reduced to collapse and to total ruin. Today even science, unfortunately, tell us that we only have a few years to live, thanks to our beautiful work of polluting our dear Mother Earth.